Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make the letter B out of boondoggle, and uh, I have these random like pieces of hair flying everywhere, because um, I braided my hair this morning, well, actually, I didn't braid my hair, but I had my hair braided this morning, and um, it's just been a long day, and it, you know, flies out, obviously, if you've had your hair braided and you're a girl, and you know what that's like. So, um, I'm going to show you how to make the letter B today. As usual, with these letters, we're going to use um, square. And you just want to do about 20 stitches, and then you want to do, oh, you want to start the project. Um, and when you start your project, make sure you flip it um, so you get that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, check out my, like, circle video. Um, and I talk about flipping it there because in order to complete that project, you had to flip it. I feel like this is really low. Like, am I looking really low down into this? Hold on. Much better. Okay, so. Uh, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I'm also, like, an all green. My ponytail is even green. Um, but anyways, so, you want to do about 20 stitches of this, and then you want to do kind of, like, a loose stitch in there. You see how I have, like, a really loose stitch right there? That's what you want. Then you want to do just, um, about 15 more. You want, um, less than the bottom. You don't want them to be even because this is the letter B, and if you look at the letter B, um, like a capital B, when they're, like, done right, I guess you could say, the top is always, like, a little bit smaller than the bottom, um, and that's just kind of normal, and then you can tell, like, what's the top and what's the bottom of your, uh, your letter B, I guess you could say. Normally when I wear this headband, I, like, fold it in half, but it will not stay put on my head folded in half, and I was just like, you know what, I don't really care, so I'm wearing it full out, full blown. Now that I've done that, um, I'm just going to show you how to turn this project, obviously, not turn the project, I'm going to show you how to make, like, the top of the bump. So, alright, here we are. You want to take this strand here, you just kind of want to make the loop on the side, um, and then you just want to take this one that's under this, like, this other clear one, and you kind of just want to, like, wrap it around to, like, lay it on top. So there should be, like, a complete and total circle that it's forming. See how it's just forming, like, a full circle here? That's exactly what you want to do. Okay? So just take this purple one here, and you want to cross, well, this multicolored one, you want to cross it over this loose end, this fully circled one, and you want to um, make it go under the one that you just folded back, all right? So super simple with that. And then you just want to take the other one, and you just want to cross over this tail here, and you want to have that go through the fully circled one. So pretty simple and easy. Now you just want to tighten that. Um, but the hardest part about tightening it is to getting it to straight is to getting it is getting it to straighten out. So just uh, you know, kind of work with it a little bit. It doesn't have to be super tight for this stitch because your second stitch will uh, actually help it tighten out. So just do a second stitch and that will tighten everything you need. All right. So, now you're at that point. Now you want to do um, some stitches, obviously. So just keep working, and I will be back in a second to tell you how many you need to do, because I don't know yet. This is actually the first one of these that I'm making. So, um, I'll let you know. Oh, another awesome thing. Um, while you're working, go check out my um, new website down below. I have a link to it there. Um, I just set it up recently, and it ha it's kind of like a blog, um, but I also have links to buy Boondoggle. So if you live outside of the United States, I actually found an awesome way for you to get Boondoggle, because um, I'm pretty sure that Amazon ships internationally. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go back to that, um, oh, by the way, I made about uh, 15 stitches there. Uh, no, that's a lie, about 25 stitches. So now what you want to do is you want to pull out those loose stitches, so just take a push pin and stick them right in there, and just kind of pull those out. Um, you're going to need probably about two of them, so you want to grab two that are right next to each other. So uh, It's kind of like pulled in there, right here, where I'm going to connect it, but that's okay. Um, and you just want to kind of build the stitch into it. So... I'm going to take this multicolor, I'm going to loop right there. See, I'm making a little hedgeway. Okay, there we go. We got that going. All right, so I'm just going to pull that in so that I know that's where I'm going. I'm going to snip this end. And this one's going to go in through the other side. This one doesn't want to go. Okay. 
Um, and so then I'm going to, like, just basically complete the stitch. Um, it's a little confusing when you look at this because you don't really know where it's supposed to go, but this strand is going to cross over this one and go through this loop. So that's just what I'm going to do right now. And then same for this strand right back here. It's just going to cross over this loose one and go through that loop. And you just want to tighten it all up, so you're probably going to end up pulling on your multicolored ones now. All right, so now here I am, um, and it kind of looks, whoa, <laughs> and uh, it looks just like a pea. So now what you need to do is you need to, like, restart the stitch right here. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. So basically I'm just going to, uh, you know, start a new square stitch, because that's what you would do to uh, complete this project. So to start another square stitch off of these strands that are already there, and you should, if all goes well, develop another little square. Okay, so I have one that's growing right there. You see that? Do a second stitch, keep working, and uh... You might do just about the same amount of number of stitches. I'm not positive. Um, again, I don't know if you guys have noticed or heard me mention it, but every time I make some of these projects, um, if I don't show you one in the beginning, or if there's not a it's not in like a collection video, that's probably because I've never made one before. Um, and this is actually the first one I'm making, so it might take me a little while to do it. Um, so you're probably just getting like my first impressions of what to do, but um, I kind of like think through it in my head and I just know how to do it. Um, and it's really hard to explain that I know how to do it, but I just know that's what I need to do. So next, okay. So now uh, you can see how this like little tail thing here is like two and a half, two about two times that length. Yeah, it's about two times the length. It's just what you want. Because now what you're going to do is you're going to connect it to the bottom here so that you will have a B. Well, it's a B for me. <laughs> Anyways. So you want to, um, you want to, like, do a stitch of square. But if you can see here, um, you kind of want these to, like, connect. One strand sort of, like, interconnected in there. And I'm having a little bit of trouble, so I'm just going to pry that up with my push pin. Alright, so just kind of use this to help you build it across. You only want, um, um, you can do two in at a time. It really, really doesn't matter. I'm going to do two just to, uh, get the project to be a little, like, tighter there. So... Just kind of build them off of that one. Alright, so you can see how um, they're starting to connect right there. Just what you want to have happen. So maybe do one more stitch, and then you're going to uh, connect it again. Alright, so now I'm just going to connect this one last time. Well, yeah. And this one's just going to be a little harder because um, you're going in from the back now. And before we were going in from the front. Alright, so then you're just going to have that one stitch there, and of course, as usual, you're going to do a second stitch to lock that back into place. Okay. And you just want to pull on that really tight, and then um, after a couple of 
you know, if you can let it sit for a day or two, and then um, when it hasn't fallen out, or if it um, keeps falling out, keep pulling it tight until it um, sits on its own for about 24 hours. Cut it short, and then you can burn it. Uh, um, the only other thing is you might want to just kind of keep, like, molding this in, um, and you will have a B. So there you go. That's how you make the letter B. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And um, don't forget to check out my website, um, and don't forget to subscribe.